Imagine it's 1993. <laughs> negative right. three years old. You're negative three years old, okay? And you see this amazing trailer come out with two Italian plumbers. Oh, my God. <laughs> and that it, movie. All, it all started there. It's where it all started. With the it's Super really Mario one. Brothers movie, 1993. It came out... And it got a whopping $20 million in the box office with a critic rating of 21% on Rotten Tomatoes. Wow, uh, dude, looking at the other ones, a lot of these other movies, <laughs> There's a lot good. worse. That's like a good movie. <laughs> and here's the thing. The rest, the video game franchise followed suit. Since then, we've seen a ton of different movies, all, all being like literally awful Rotten Tomato scores. We saw, we've seen some Mortal Kombat movies, some Tomb Raiders, some Resident Evils, uh, Prince of Persia with Jake Gyllenhaal. We saw Rampage with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. We saw the Warcraft movie. There's been a ton of video game movies coming out, but the reality is almost all of them have been critically bad. There was only a few movies that made it above 40% or 50%, and only three movies that have made it above 60%. Two of which are what we mentioned, Detective Pikachu and Sonic the Hedgehog. And the third, the highest rating was 79% was Angry Birds 2. Yes. I, I know I know everyone thinks uh, Angry Birds 2 when they think uh, peak movies. <laughs> I know I do. Um, <laughs> but like, Why so <laughs> if, if we can go back, like, are you are you shocked that ha that they've been consistently not successful? No, I mean, I'm not that surprised. I feel like the people making the movies maybe just don't have a humongous grasp on the source material. Someone someone brought that up. And they yeah. just never learned that lesson for many, many years. <laughs> yeah, and it's that's the thing is, like, I just feel like... And I, I, this actually brings to a question later that I want to talk about. Uh, we don't need to get into it yet, but... But, I mean, should movies get recreated? Or video games get recreated in the movies? Because... I mean, we can stretch this out. I mean, we might as well talk about it now. Um, do you think that movie, that video games should be recreated in the movies? I, I mean, so. <laughs> you think so or you don't think so? I don't think so. I don't think. <laughs> and why is it that you I think I mean, that? like, I don't know. I, there's a lot of things. There's like no original ideas, I feel like, in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And they're always trying to like reboot or rehash stuff. Yeah. And I get that, like, maybe, okay, there's, like, this story that you want to convey, and then, okay, if not everyone plays video games, so in a movie form, hey, there it goes. But they do pick a lot of movies that there's, like, no real reason to convey the story to everybody. It's not, like, deep or anything, like, Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, I want yeah. the world to know the story of Sonic the Hedgehog. That's a good point. <laughs> I mean, quite like, that, I mean, you're well, going back to the root of why do we make it. movies. You're getting into yeah. real philosophical territory there. Also, shout out to Mr. Otter who said, no lie, Angry Birds 2 trailer did not make me laugh at one part. Yeah, I didn't have any interest. But then again, it wasn't me. I'm not the audience. And I'm Angry Birds 2 has a higher rating than Angry Birds 1. I don't know. Is it really that much better? They're like, oh my God, we learned so much from making Two the first day. I guess. I mean, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's the thing is like, I think, uh, the, I think that there are a lot of video games shouldn't re recreate it in movies because it's like they're not like that's not what that was made for yeah and it doesn't fit into that context as well as it fits into its original context of video games. 